Neil, tremendous effort last weekend after 120 minutes and a, a reshuffle mm. across the pitch. What's the state of the squad looking like for this weekend? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, a great day for the club last weekend. Um, but we gave a really good account of ourselves right across the board, right from you know number one all the way through to the the, the subs who came on as well. Everyone contributed, and we had to contribute uh, playing against a Premier League team. Off the back of that. Um, we've had some sort of some indifferent news um, on the injury front. Um, so Danny Ballard uh, would expect to be okay um, unless anything happens in the next 48 hours. Um, Luke Garbert from the Bristol game were hopeful that he'll be able to make the weekend. Um, Grant Ward is okay um, after having to come off in that game, um, but. We'll be missing Daniel Gretson, who came off, um, so he won't be available. And Keshi wasn't available for the game against West Brom, and we'll, we'll unfortunately be out for a number of weeks as well. So we're, we're missing a few, um, but opportunity knocks with inside the squad. We've got a good squad of players and some strength in depth, so those players will hopefully rise to the occasion in the next few weeks. Yeah, it's the exact same reason why you build a strong squad, isn't it? So that you've got players who can step up to the plate. Yeah, and that was the idea at the beginning of the season. Uh, we knew the type of season we were going to be facing. Um, unique sort of circumstances this season with the amount of games in a short period of time. Um, and we've got some quality within our squads. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some how, how some of the other players who get this opportunity play. Because... Um, uh, we're going to need to do better than what we've done and find a better level of consistency in the second half of the season but um, I've got belief in the players and belief in the squad that we can do that So many games have passed in the last few weeks it doesn't seem five minutes since that game against Hull last time it's, it's looped round quickly this fixture again Yeah it has yeah um, obviously you don't look too far ahead in the fixture list but when I seen a couple of weeks back that we were playing Hull away. It surprised me a little bit because it didn't seem two minutes since we did play Hull home. That was a great game, a really good game that night. Um, I thought we played very well and deserved to win. Um, nothing better than a, a last-minute winner. Um, but Hull also showed what they're capable of and showed their strength as well that night as well. I think they're a very strong team with good players and they're playing at home. Um, so we know it's going to be a really tough test away from home for us on Saturday. How much do you need to take those levels from that performance and games like Portsmouth and then this West Brom game that's just been and, and have that consistency now moving forward? Yeah, I, I, I believe that in a lot of the games this season we have shown a consistent level of performance. It's certain moments and certain aspects of our play that we need to improve upon, but that's a process that we are continuing to develop all the time and I believe that again this group of players the longer that we train together and play together and the messages um, that we give to our players if we remain consistent um, then we'll improve we'll get better and we'll become stronger as a team and uh, I do believe that you know you unfortunately the you know that little sort of um, blip over Christmas uh, with the Shrewsbury and Bristol Rovers game. Prior to that, we were on a very good run. Um, and that's because of the, the levels of performance. And that's what we've got to try and get back to and aim for. How much have you had to really make use of this this week, given that the, the Saturday Tuesdays are going to start right up again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been... Um, you know, we, we're going to face that now a lot between now and the end of the season, Saturday, Tuesday. Um, but as the players would say, they, they love playing games. Um, I, as a coach, I like to have time on the training ground. Um, so it's been a valuable week for us. Um, we've got a couple of training sessions to go. Um, we're, we're battling the elements a little bit, but um, it's been an enjoyable week so far and we'll be fit and raring to go ready for what will be a really tough game on Saturday.